Hey guys, my name's Kent Hare, and I'm a C4-5 quadriplegic who was injured approximately 18 years uh, on ago. On our way back to Mount Royal College, uh, some people who we didn't know pulled up in a car behind us or beside us. Next thing you know, they pulled out a gun, and that gun went off, and uh, it hit me in the neck. Uh, the next day I woke up, I was a C4-5 quadriplegic. Life changed for me on that day. Fast forward 18 years and uh, right now I'm working as the member of the Legislative Assembly uh, for the riding of Calgary Buffalo which is located in downtown Calgary and I was an elected official, I'm now an elected official uh, working uh, in the government of Alberta trying to make things better for all Albertans. Now I am an opposition MLA but that's a very important role and uh, really I love my job. I love getting up in the morning. I love facing the day. When you look back 18 years ago after uh, I became a C4-5 quadriplegic, I woke up in the hospital the next day and really I had no idea what life was going to have in store for me. Really everything I knew beforehand, uh, um, going to school, going to work, going to hockey practice, all of that stuff that I had assumed would continue and I assumed I would uh, carry on with life in sort of a, that general fashion uh, really stopped on on that next day and really uh, I was very worried uh, approximately 11 months after my uh, incident where uh, I became a C4-5 quadriplegic I enrolled at the University of Calgary and I tell you what, I only enrolled in two, cl two classes, but that was uh, highly overwhelming. I remember going to school that first day and wheeling in in my new wheelchair in this new situation with uh, uh, for sometimes 40 kids in a class, sometimes 100 kids in a class, and I was, uh, or what I thought, I was the only one different. This was tremendously challenging for me. And and I remember my first day back at university probably being one of the worst days of my life. But I tell you what, the next day I went back, it was a little bit easier. And tell you what, I ended up spending nine, nine years at the University of Calgary, ended up getting a degree in political science and a degree in law. In law. That all started with that baby step, going to university that first day and not giving up and because it would have been so easy to do so. However, I, I didn't do all this alone. I did it with both the help and support of my parents and my, my sister. I also did it with uh, some friends uh, from the Canadian Paraplegic Association. They had information for me. They had people who had been through the, the trenches, so to speak, who had gone through the trials and tribulations of being a, a new uh, quadriplegic or a new uh, paraplegic. Let's face it, it doesn't matter. Both of those are difficult situations. And the CPA was there for me anytime I had a question, concern, or I wanted to go to see people who had lived the experience and sort of get some uh, inspiration that uh, life wasn't over. And I tell you what, I'm very grateful to the CPA. Life is different, but no less fun, no less exciting, no less vibrant. It's just different. And that's the best I can explain it. Because 18 years after my disability now, um, don't get me wrong, it may have been easier to uh, have gone through life uh, without a disability. Whether it would have been better or not, I can't say. Really, I'm very happy and I couldn't imagine uh, being much happier. Get out in your community, start to do little things. They seem so in inconsequential 18 years later. The, the, your, your new journey starts now. Your ju new journey taking part in uh, your new life starts now and you have an opportunity to try and set goals, try and do little things and I know it's hard. Oh, okay. It was one of those challenges in life. Yeah, yeah, you, you got go. it. But hey, take care, I'll see you later. Yeah.